What's up guys, EA Sports has just released the first official trailer for Madden NFL 15 featuring Carolina Panthers linebacker and defensive player of the year, Luke Keekley. We're here today to analyze the first snippet of gameplay, so let's first take a look at the trailer untouched, and then we'll take a closer look and discern what we can. I failed before, but I am different now, and I won't fail again. They say most people carry an alter ego, a side that is unpredictable and unruly, the side used to transform yourself into something greater. Now, they will. Okay, there you have it. The trailer primarily focuses on defense, which is not a surprise given this year's feature set. Per EA's website, a headline for this year's game reads, Deliver on Defense. Set the tone on defense with more control thanks to an all-new arsenal of pass rush moves. Contain the open field with intuitive tackling mechanics, and play as a team with redesigned zone and man coverage logic all while being immersed in the play from the other side of the line with defensive player lock cameras. Madden NFL 15 delivers on defense. So now let's uh, let's go watch Keekley's tackle in slow motion. Immediately we're given insight into some improvements alongside the offensive line. The ball is snapped and right guard number 68 first takes a read step or a quick 45 degree step backwards, followed by a power step right into the outside shoulder of the tackle. Now, whether or not a variety of new first steps and foot movements are incorporated into the line play remains to be seen, but what's shown so far looks pretty good. But let's keep going. After the right guard doubles up the defensive tackle, they remain engaged with the defender while simultaneously driving him to the right, subsequently developing a natural flow to this zone run. Previous iterations have relied on scripted animations, where both the defender and the blocker stand in their tracks once engaged. Now, perhaps this quick glimpse gives insight towards having upper body animations play separately from lower body animations, allowing linemen to drive defenders while still having access to a wide-ranging animation base that is required for organic handplay and advanced techniques. And this is exactly what happens as the play unfolds. Keekly slides to the left, evaluating the play, reading Marshawn Lynch and making sure that he fills the B-gap that acts as a cutback lane. While doing so, you'll notice that the same number 68 disengages from the tackle and attempts to get to the second level. Our player in spotlight Keekly, of course, isn't having any of that, as he rips away to pursue Lynch, who goes outside. Now two things here. One, it looks as though the right guard looks for the appropriate time to disengage his assignment and take care of Keekly, as opposed to simply being programmed to release at a particular time. Number 68 might be making calculations as the play unfolds, meaning that he might be reading the play versus acting in accordance with this particular script for the play. Impressive, right? Well, that's not even what's most impressive. The guard's engagement with Keekly reveals that weight and acceleration will impact animations. As mentioned before, in years prior, you would just see Keekly halt in his tracks when engaged with the guard, and a winning or losing animation would then play out from that gridlock. Here, conservation of momentum is upheld as they briefly encounter while on the run. Keekly is able to slip by while moving flow side, and his course to the ball carry is only marginally affected. The result, of course, is Lynch being taken down with a nice wrap up tackle and a minimal gain. There is one more thing that I want to point out, and it's a bit of a negative. After the tackle, Keekly celebrates by his lonesome, while another player in the distance throws his arms awkwardly. Maybe multiple player celebrations will make it in next year, but this year it's not looking good. There's one more thing that I'd like to point out. In the next play, now let's just slow that down. There we go. You'll see once again that the defender and lineman engage while still keeping their momentum. Number 50 drives his man back while engaged, then disengages and sacks the quarterback. This play provides more evidence that momentum will affect animations, and if this is the case, it would lend a great amount of authenticity to interactions in general. So that's all I want to talk about with this first look at Madden NFL 15. Clearly, a huge focus is on the line interactions, and while our analyses here certainly require further evaluation via more footage, our brief outlook is, at the least, encouraging. I hope all of you enjoyed my first in-depth look at Madden 15. Follow my channel during the months leading to release for more meticulous Madden analysis and critique. 
Madden NFL 15 arrives on August 26th for the Xbox One, PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360. Finally, if you liked the video, please drop a like, and if you really liked it, subscribe for weekly gaming content. And with that, I'm out. Peace.